Hello and welcome back to Rare Roads Online. So today we are up doing some yard work. Uh, still haven't gotten some of the ground work in under these, but these are uh, finished off the way we're going to do them all. So time to clean up some of the yard stuff for now. So we'll fix that when that uh, gets moved over. We did pick up a new yard boss, if you will, for up here, a little porter type 2. And we did name it the Beetle. A little black bug is kind of the idea. And hopefully it's capable of actually doing the job up here, because who knows. Um, I just turned around and brought it up here. Haven't actually used it up here at all yet, so this is kind of a... Uh, a new deal. The loads were kicked into the uh, to the little spurs there, the shoots, whatever you want to call them. And this has just been parked up here waiting to go, so we'll just build up a little bit of heat. Probably going to have to put a water tower and some wood storage up here as well. Do some yard work, if you will. Just got to build up some pressure and whatnot. I'm not exactly sure what we actually need over there anyway. It looks like we need beams and lumber so either one can go in we have uh we do have some iron in the mine there so it looks like we should be able to fill and dump who knows we're just gonna have to see how all this works out probably should have stoked up the fire first a lot of switches up here, so there's going to be a little bit of stuttering going on. Oh, whatever, that should be good enough. And then we'll bag it up. Probably way too fast. And we got to check the pin. Did not put a light on this porter because it's actually going to be in the yard all the time. So that back light just kind of gets in the way. Not going to have a front light, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But just, I thought it was just better to keep the light out of the way. You know, real yard. This thing is really just for the yard. It's never going to go anywhere. Except right here. And hopefully... It can handle pulling what we want it to. There we go. Make sure that the brake, there was no brake on this. Wow, <laughs> so we just did really roll it back. Okay. Wait, right. wonder if the back brake is on. You have to run down here and take a look. I do like the whole yard look like this. I think the, uh, having a rolling stock sitting here like this is just kind of cool so that's kind of the idea with this rail and the yards and the setup so pretty happy with how things are coming together gives it a nice feel oh well, it's going to take it all the effort too be interesting to see how those uh How the hopper cars are with Betsy. I don't think I've ever tried to, or <clears throat> the Porter Type 2, not Betsy, but the Beetle here. I've uh, 
I don't think I've ever tried to pull hopper cars with that small locomotive, so could get interesting and we might have to swap it out for a bigger yard loco. I know the brakes are going to be a tight thing. Like, see, this thing is not going to stop. Well, that I know. But we do have a little, um, effectively like a hump right there, which should help stop the train. At least I would think. Let's pull flip that switch. Run back up the load and see how well this goes. Backwards we go. Good thing we got bump stops back there because I don't think stopping this thing is going to be great. Probably fair enough. We should have a bell dinging. Because this is not what you would call a safe moving load, probably. <laughs> Whatever. It's definitely not going to be a speed demon at working in the yard, that's for sure. So I could easily see stepping up the size of this locomotive already, but then again, we're not that worried about going all super fast up here in the yard either, so. Stops the logo and all and see if we can go unload some stuff. Short. I always short. I hate backing up to this dock. Always have. Bell's still dinging. Alright. Got it. See how well this works out. Enough fiddling around. There we go. Clearing the train off. That's the big goal. This is working out okay. Let's see here, it seems to work. Let's see, 19 out of 30. Of course, it doesn't really matter because most of it's going to get eaten up. thing backwards how oh, well that all works I definitely want to bring this up at a steeper angle so this is uh, I'm gonna need to put in a, uh, a bigger incline or steeper incline so that these actually pull back because I would like for the uh, 
for it just to pull back on its own at this point and not actually have to kick the cars would be nice if that were the case. there so we can flip this can't flip it too early that's the kicker we're just gonna cause you a problem all right good enough that can go there that can go there <clears throat> then we'll run up and grab betsy or beetle I'm going to call this thing Betsy a ton because this is the same little locomotive, but not. Okay. Link just looks funny. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Burn the brakes right off. Doesn't really matter which stack we back up to. Bam. Bam, bam. Now let's see if it will do this. Now that it's warmed up. Oh, yeah. No problem. Now, how about when they're loaded? That could be a whole different animal. We shall find out shortly. That is probably backwards. Oops. Oh well. Should be good enough. Jump on back down the line. Oop. There we go. Back her up. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> that happens. Actually, as far as yard ops, it doesn't go too bad. I don't think it's pretty decent. These will be nice because these are a thousand dollars a load, so we can hook those up, probably pull both down the uh, mountain at the same time, and then they can get broke up down at the smelter, which will be cool. Oh, I probably should have just. Should have just loaded it going backwards. Of course, it's a bigger pain loading it backwards. Alright, let's see what we got. Got to do the yard work, keep up with the industries. That's kind of the idea. The nice thing will be the drop-offs will definitely be the paydays, you know. But um, 
that's going to be the fun of this setup. This setup really is hugely uh, set up for more multiplayer stuff. So as we're once we get things tested out, we're just going to be opening it up for multiplayer. So a lot more multiplayer stuff going on. So if you know that is the thing for you, don't forget there is the Discord link in the description below the video. Lots of uh, I don't know, I think we're around 200, something like that, 180 members, 200 members, people on there. Most of them all about railroads online, so by all means, if you're looking to find people to play, or questions and answers, a lot of people out there that are really great with help, so... Good place for it. Oh, she's picking up some weight. I don't want to stop what it was. Two more. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. You know, this doesn't work out too bad because it never really picks up too much speed to be that big a problem. For the brakes, so that's actually working out pretty nice. Kind of looks cool with the hopper cars on it, too. I got to... I have to say, the uh, prototype 2 looks good doing it. It could move the cars around definitely a little faster, but then too, you're just going to kind of get out of control there. And yeah, seeing the brakes are still good, even though it's pretty loaded up. Wasn't sure how this locomotive would, uh, you know, pull this job off. that into gear. Oh, put the brakes. Now comes the question of will it move it? And it looks like it's gonna do it. <clears throat> Five hover cars, definitely not taking it uh, up the hill or anything, I'm sure. But it's got it rolling. This thing is so over its weight, I would think, with that much behind it. The load way out weighs the locomotive. So that should make stopping a breeze. Uh, that is kind of why we have the incline here. I'm hoping that if I can crank up the uh, incline a little bit on it, the stuff will just free roll back. So we'd just be able to like simply stop here and cut things free. I mean, it should roll back anyway, but I don't know that they would on their own without being kicked. Even though it definitely goes up, I think at one degree or something of incline. But I don't know that that's enough to actually get the get it moving. Stop, jeez! All right, brakes are off. Let's cut it free. See, it should move because the brakes are off and everything really is slanted down. But this is one of those things. When it's stopped, it'll stay stopped because it's kind of really got stored momentum or something. I don't know. But this is all in, I mean, it's inclined right up until where this is sitting, and that shouldn't be enough to hold it. So, it should roll backwards, <coughs> you know, 
he can see it, but it doesn't. So. <clears throat> All right. So we'll give it a little kick. Should be enough. With this much weight, I guess I don't really want to kick it very hard, but it's rolling pretty slow. But then this is fairly controlled for, I would think, you know, you wouldn't really want that many, you wouldn't want them going much faster, just in case. Definitely going to have to up that incline though, because I want them rolling slightly faster than this. Or just kick them harder. And just use the incline as a way to, you know, slow the locomotive more. So, oh, that was too soon to flip. Oh, got away with one right there. No, nope, don't turn that on yet. These are stopping all on their own. Probably quite capable of just rolling back into the bump stop and being stopped with it. Probably don't even need to hit the brake to stop it. But there we go. So we got one loaded up, one emptied. Uh, I'll keep that going. Obviously, I'll get that one emptied, get that one filled up. And uh, we'll finish out the yard operations but just to show a little bit of what's going on up here in the yard at the iron mine and i think we'll call that one an episode say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but sure do help the channel y'all have a great day